you think they'd have a swimming tutorial, at least. This is your host, Cosa Raspel, and welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. In the last episode, we defeated three of the four, uh, arenas, I'm going to call them, until I actually remember their name. And here we're taking out the last one, so we may break the curse, enter the gate, do some things, buy some stuff. Oh, it's the usual. But, it's the fun usual. At least they decide to mix it up every once in a while. What's the mission this time? World of Pain. Kill 15 enemies using environmental attacks. I'm okay with this. Demon gates used to abduct cars. How silly would it be for your for your cars to just like end up like that? Oh, come on. You know, I might just like throw this at them. That's a good way to do it. Well, I didn't do anything. I do admit, it is fun. Boom! Eh <laughs> you got hit by a car. I don't think this is covered in your insurance. Yes, my car seemed to have been abducted by demon gates to be used in a chaos arena. I don't think uh, Safe Auto covers that, but it's always worth checking, making sure you have your demon gate insurance. Maybe Geico has it. Are there flying enemies? Oh, there are. At least there's a weaker. Oh no, one of those guys. At least the game already tells me how to how to do this. Okay, I wonder if that hurts me as well. Oh, do I really need to get away from those guys? I look I probably look so silly just dash around this arena like, what's that guy doing? Is that a car? Oh god! Why would you do that? Oh no, no no, no no, no no. You know, my boots have got to be so scuffed. How do how do I slide like that? What is my propulsion? Oh man, he got me. Come on, dash, 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 dash. Dash to the other one. Boom! Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Again, I don't need to kill him with it. I need to kill anyone. So let's shift gauge to this guy. And I win. I didn't need to kill the big guy. I just had to kill his little friend. But there's no problem with that. Life has an explosion. Let me check that. Oh, I now have two. Thank you, game. That was very nice of you. Oh, but that's all of them. So now I have to return to wherever it was I need to go. Okay. Looks like that was the last Yeah, I know. Let's get out of here. be here. By the way, again, characters who can breathe underwater indefinitely for no explained reason. <laughs> I can now compare War, Horsemen of the Apocalypse, to Super Mario. Just seems like every game I play, that's a thing! 
And you know what? It shouldn't be. So do I swim faster underwater or normally? What the heck is that? This looks pretty. Is there a reason for that? Hmm. I will possibly check in with that later. It's just awkward. Oh, uh, is this... Puzzles, I mean... Wow, where am I supposed to go again? I'm just hoping it's like that way. Okay. At least I can still dash in the water. There's that. But now where do I go? Wrong one. <sighs> Always get that wrong. Well, let's see. Oh my. Wrong way. Ah! Always! <gasps> okay, now I got it, right? Right, game? Yes, there. Okay, big guy. I took care of your curse. Why don't you leave before I get back? Save us all the trouble so I don't have to, like, hit you with a giant horn again. I wondered how he was going to get up. Kind of do wonder where do the, where do they go? Abyssal armor piece, a piece blood, piece of blood forged abyssal armor. Collect ten to complete the set. Hmm. I wonder. Not like an unlockable costume? <sighs> Kinda strange, but you know what, I'm not... Next place is probably going to give me an ability to break those crystals, because seriously, they're all over the place! Underwater combat, of course. Ah. Evil fish underwater. It's bad enough, evil fish on land, gotta have the evil fish underwater. Oh, so. What am I gonna call you? Electric Cheap Cheeps? Well, you're probably just some demon eel. Hmm. Game developers wanted to create an electrical enemy or something. Why they come up with an eel? Something stereotypical? Or maybe it's just a fish. A, demon, a regular old demon fish. Yes, because demon fish are so regularly normal. Yeah, so normal regularly, or... Actually, what is the proper uh, pronunciation of that sentence? Alright. Looks like I'm going up. Oh! That was a bomb. My mind instinctively said, Bad guy. Should probably not listen to my instinct. It's the second time I've seen that. I wonder. Now that I actually have some to cut it down. That appears to be nothing then. But it might actually indicate to me where Volgrim is. Volgrim location.
Okay. Okay. Old Volgum's got something new for you. Oh. Generate triumph naturally over time. Oh, yeah, I think I'll spend my. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That seems the smartest... That seems like the smartest plan to do, have new passive abilities. Let's see. I think I'll have that do more damage. And I'll have that do it, because this, is, this has a passive ability. Right, and does this? Wait. No, these do not have passive abilities, so they're best if I slot them. That way I get them. That way I get all the bonuses. Or the most bonuses. Plus now I can use Wrath more often. That spike from ground thing. Is that the only thing I need to do here? I always get lost. Wait. Oh! Oh, those don't explode if I hit them. They explode naturally. Thank you, game. I absolutely needed that. Needed that wake-up call to tell me, Hey, did you know this game wants you dead beyond all belief? You know, game, I don't think I learned that today. That is very nice of you to remind me that everything wants me dead for no apparently good reason, other than the fact that I exist. Oh, but we seem to have made it to the Anvil's Ford. That's going to be it for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Darksiders, I'm going to explore the Anvil's Ford, which it looks beautiful!